Hello and good evening my little ones. How are all my babies doing? Yes, we are back again. Mindseed Preschool and Daycare is back again with yet another exciting story telling session for all of you. Not just my little ones but mamas and papas as well. Now I hope you guys have had a lovely week and today is Saturday 5.30 and we are back again. My name is Aparna Chaudhary and I am going to be your host for this evening. So this week's story, what are we going to do today? Well, today we have two very, very interesting characters who are going to come and meet you. Yes, but before they come and meet you, let me tell you what we are going to do in the next half an hour. So we're going to start with a lovely story and the name of the story is Goodnight Already. And you must be wondering, it's just 530 and what is it with the Barna teacher? What is she talking about night and sleeping? Well, like I said last time as well, just like Ichi Bear loved his sleep, today's character also is someone who loves to sleep. Don't we all love to sleep? Yes? Now this story is at night and that's the reason why it's called Goodnight Already. Yes? So they're really, really, really jumpy to meet you. Now, one of them is like, has been troubling me right since morning saying, when are we going to meet the children? When are we going to meet the children? And I was like, hey, wait, it's going to be 5.30 and that's when we're going to start. All right. So anyways, before I tell about the story, I want you to quickly grab some material that we would need for an activity that we'll be doing a little later. Very simple activity and I'm sure you'll have this material right around you. So till the story time is over, we'll quickly request mama or papa to get this material for us. So all you need is a brush. Yes, yellow and red color paint. Now in case you don't have red and yellow color paint, not to worry. I'm sure we have turmeric powder and we have some kumkum at home. You can just make a paste out of it. And I'm saying paste because we don't want it very uh, liquidy. We don't want it very watery. And of course, a piece of paper. So in case you have a piece of paper, I'm going to use a recycled paper. Grab that. And I'm going to tell you what the activity is all about. And of course, some water and container to mix the paints. All right. Now, till you get this material, we're going to start with the story. Are you ready to meet our characters? From the story, good night already. Yes? Now, sometimes it happens with us. It happens with me also sometimes. That I'm, I want to sleep. I want to go and just lie down on the bed. Because I've had a very, very tiring day. But for some reason, either I can't sleep. Or I have someone coming and talking and disturbing me. Sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes when you're not sleepy, I'm sure you should ask mama and papa. Yes, mama and papa, you must have faced this sometime or the other. That you've just gone to bed. You've just gone and hit the bed. And you have your little one popping out and saying, Mama, can I play? Or I'm not sleepy. I want to watch something on YouTube. Yes? Just like that, this character, and yes, he is a friend of Itchy Bear. So can we say hello? To sleepy bear. Ooh, he looks a little, little grumpy to me. Hey bear, what happened? I'm a little sleepy. Ooh, look at his droopy eyes. And his mouth and his face. He's ready to hit the bed. And he wants to, but I guess mm, somebody is ready to disturb him. Ooh. I told you, this little one. Hey, what? Hi. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I told you, this little one was just not ready to sit quiet. Yes. Let's say hello to Mr. Duck. Hi, Duck. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, Aparna. How are all of you doing? Yes, I'm so excited to see you and you and you and you. Okay, okay, stay down, duck. <gasps> He's full of energy all the time. Now he is full of energy. And you can imagine that he just doesn't want to sleep. And he, poor little sleepy bear, he wanted to sleep. 
Now let's see what happens. Should we go to his place? Yes, let's go to his house and let's see what happens. Yes. So Mr. Sleepy Bear, he had just had a very long day and he was about to hit the bed. He was like, Ooh, I'm so sleepy. I can right now go and sleep for days. Maybe even weeks. Maybe months if nobody wakes me up. Oh, my bed. I love my bed. Let me sleep. And while he was about to sleep and he was in his bed, he heard a knock on his door. Oh, who is it? And he went and opened the door. And look, who was it? It was Mr. Duck, all excited and ready with his eyes wide open at 11 o'clock at night. What is it, Duck? Oh, hi, Mr. Bear. I was really getting bored and I wanted to hang out. Should we hang out? No. Okay. Can we make some smoothies? No. Then let's make tarts. No. Let's start a band. Let's sing a song. Ta -da 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 -da. Duck. No. Let's make cards. No. Mm. Let's talk all night. No. Okay. Good night already. Yeah, whatever. Come on, Duck. Go. Go home. Ooh, Mr. Bear wasn't very, very happy. He just asked Mr. Duck to go and he was back in his bed. But that's when Mr. Duck being Mr. Duck was right at his window. And he was like, psst, psst. Hey, Mr. Bear. Hello. It's me, Mr. Duck, your neighbor. Oh, God, Duck. What is it? Oh, Mr. Bear, I was just not sleepy and I wanted to make some cookies. Eleven o'clock at night? Yes, I want to make some cookies. Can I borrow some butter? No. Some sugar? No. Mm, some dough? No. Okay, all right. Chocolate chips. No. Some butter. You said that already, Doc. Oh, okay. Then can you just give me some cookies? No. Doc, I really want to sleep. Come on. It's good night already. Come on, Doc. Out. Go. Now. Ooh, Mr. Bear is really, really upset. And Doc is quite annoying. He's just not ready to sleep. And he's not allowing Mr. Bear to sleep as well. I'm sure mamas and papas can imagine what Mr. Bear is going through. But Mr. Duck being Mr. Duck is not going to keep quiet. And when Mr. Bear was finally almost Asleep, suddenly, Ta -da! Mm. he went and he put his face right on top of Mr. Bear's face. And Mr. Bear was like, ah! <gasps> Whoa, duck, you scared me. What is wrong with you? And how did you even come inside the house? The spare key. What? But that key is for emergency. But this is an emergency. All right. Tell me, what is your emergency, Doc? Oh, 
Look, look at my beak. Can you all look at my beak? Yes. Ooh, I happened to hit my beak on a wall. I was walking through the wall without looking at it. <laughs> hit the wall. Mr. Bear, can you see it for me, please? Oh, Mr. Duck, you know what? I am really sleepy and I'm very, very tired and I do not have the energy to look at your beak. Can you please go now, please? Oh, Mr. Bear is almost pushing that away. <gasps> oh, gone already and mr bear was like i just want to sleep i'm going to go and wear my pajamas now while mr bear had gone to wear his pajamas let's see what's happening in mr duck's house okay let's see what mr duck is doing hmm that mr bear i tell you He's really, really annoying and he's so grumpy. I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. I mean, come on, it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> but with all his grumpiness, I have started feeling tired. Let me put on some TV and let me see something. Now, Mr. Duck, being Mr. Duck, he had troubled Mr. Bear so much and he bent and he sat in front of the TV and he started looking at the TV and while he was watching the TV, oh, it's my favorite, Donald Duck. Mr. Duck likes Donald Duck, of course, we know that. Not very funny. Who, Mr. Duck, yes, yes. You kidding me? Mr. Duck was fast asleep after troubling Mr. Bear again and again and again. He sat in front of the television and he is off to bed. And let's see what's happening with Mr. Bear. Oh, I am so wide awake. I just can't sleep. Maybe, maybe I'm going to actually make some cookies. Do you guys want to bake some cookies for me? Yes? Come on and join me. I'm going to the kitchen. Mr. Duck, I'm never going to forget it. 11.30 at night and I'm baking cookies. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye. See you guys tomorrow. Ooh. Did you just see what happened? Mr. Bear, who wanted to sleep, who was really, really sleepy and was almost into his bed, was wide awake and actually making some cookies at 12 o'clock at night. And Mr. Duck, who was just not ready to sleep, was wide awake, wanted to make cookies and he wanted to play cards and he wanted to start a band and sing a song. He was fast asleep. Now, I'm sure this happens with all of you, doesn't it? But anyways, it's good night already for Mr. Duck. And so we're going to say bye to both of them. Can we say bye-bye to both of them? Bye-bye. Sleep well, Mr. Bear. I hope you can sleep and duck. Don't trouble sleepy bear so much. Be a nice neighbor. You are. I know that. Okay, so we're going to say bye to all of them. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the story. The name of the story was Good Night Already. Yes? Now, with this, we're going to move on to the next activity, which is a lovely rhyme. Are you ready to sing a song with me? It's a very short, very sweet little song. Yes? Should we sing? Yes? It's about a bird. It starts with a bird. And you can look and listen to a Panna teacher. And you can sing this song with mamas and papas after this YouTube session is over. Okay? All right? So, come on. Everybody become birds with me. Come on. Are you ready? Come on. What do birds do? They fly, right? They have wings. We have hands. 
Show me your hands. Wriggle your fingers. Yes, very good. Very nice. Just like that, birds have wings and they fly. All right. So, let's start with this. The bird is sitting on the tree and the song goes like this. Little bird, little bird, can you clap? Come on, clap with me. Little bird, little bird, can you clap? No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't clap. Little bird, little bird, can you fly? Little bird, little bird, can you fly? <gasps> yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can fly. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can fly. Let's go to Mr. Elephant now. Come on. From the bird, we move to elephant. Elephant, elephant, can you fly? Hmm? Elephant, elephant, can you fly? No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't fly. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't fly. Elephant, elephant, can you stomp? Hmm. Elephant, elephant, can you stomp? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can stomp. Now, from the elephant, let's move to the fish. So, from the sky, we came down on the land. And from the land, let's go to the water. Let's go to the fish. Little fish, little fish, can you stomp? Let's ask fish. Little fish, little fish, can you stomp? No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't stomp. Little fish, little fish, can you swim? Little fish, little fish, can you swim? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can swim. Ooh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can swim. Now let's come to you, boys and girls. Come on, come on, come with me. Boys and girls, boys and girls, can you sing? Boys and girls, boys and girls, can you sing? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can sing. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can sing. Well done, everybody. Good job. You guys did a wonderful job. Remember to sing this song, all right? Okay, so from land, we... Sorry, from the trees, from the sky, we went to the land. And from land, we went to water. And from water, we went right inside your house. Good job. Now that we're done with this rhyme, should we do our activity? Yes, quickly, very, very quickly. So come on, let's get our papers out. Okay, like I said, before we started, we're going to have a plain piece of paper. We're going to have an A4 size paper. And what are we going to make? Who are the two characters from the story? You remember? Yes, should we get them back to say hello to you? It was Mr. Bear. Itchy Bear's friend, Sleepy Bear. He's Sleepy Bear. Look at his eyes. And of course, Mr. Duck. And I'm sure you had fun with Mr. Bear and Mr. Duck. Now, last time, we made a bear. So this time, we're going to make a duck. Are you ready to make a duck? Mr. Duck is going to be very, very happy. Look at his happiness. His beak is like, hmm. Yes, duck, we're going to make you. Just stay here and don't make a lot of noise. My babies are going to make you. Don't worry. So we're going to do some palm printing. Are you ready for some palm printing? Yes. Show me all your five fingers. Come on, do it with me. One, two, three, four and five. Good job. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to first take some yellow color because Mr. Duck here is yellow. All right. So we're going to take some yellow color very quickly. Let's mix some yellow color. Ooh, my paint has become a little dry. Little, little dry. This was a very interesting story, right? 
I had loads of fun when I was reading this story. I was like, oh my god, Ak is so funny and annoying at the same time. And then I thought about all the times that I troubled my mama and I would be awake and say, oh ma, I can't sleep. And my poor, poor mama would be like, okay, all right, what do you want to do? Because mamas are so sweet, no? All our mamas, look at your mama, give her a hug. Even papas, sweethearts they are, no? Okay, so what have I done? I've quickly taken some yellow color paint and with my brush, I'm going to mix it, okay? So in case, like I said, you do not have a uh, yellow color, you can just mix some turmeric powder and see to it that it's not very, uh, very uh, watery. It's a little thick and you start applying it to your palm, okay? So what am I doing? I'm applying yellow color to my palm. I'm going to apply it to my fingers. I'm going to, see, I told you I'm going to be a little messy. So I'm going to take some cloth and I'm going to just wipe it off. Wipe it off. I'm going to apply some lovely paint with the brush on my fingers. First my four fingers and then of course my palm. Okay. Just like that. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tilt the screen as soon as I decide to uh, print this on the paper. Okay, it's a very simple activity, not difficult at all, and you're gonna have lots of fun. I always have fun when I'm painting. I always have fun. So should you. All these colors, they look so amazing, no? So ducks are usually in different colors. They they, they are like sometimes white and off-white and chicks are usually yellow color. And this duck specifically was yellow in color. So we're going to make this the duck. Yes. And while I'm painting this, what's happening is uh, my hands are drying up. So make sure that you quickly put some paint. Yes. So now that I have all the paint on my palm, I'm going to keep the yellow color aside and I'm going to print this on the paper. So just watch me very carefully, all right? I'm going to tilt the screen for you. I hope you can watch it. And I'm going to spread my fingers and my thumb. And I'm going to press, 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 press with all your might, superheroes. And ta-da! So maybe I didn't have a lot of paint here. That's why I couldn't print it out. So I'm going to quickly color it here. You can also do that. So this is the body of your duck. Okay. And I'm giving the head a finishing touch. Alright. So I've done, not done anything more than just printing the Yes, this is my palm and I've just printed it with my thumb pointing towards the laptop and my fingers spread. Alright, so these are the feathers. This is the body and here is the face of Mr. Duck. Yes, now we've just made the body of Mr. Duck. I'm going to pick the paper up so that you can see it very, very clearly. Alright, sideways palm printing. Okay, but this is not complete because this is just the body. So we're going to give it features, all right? So we're going to give it a beak because Mr. Duck had a beak. Ta-da! And of course his legs. So we're going to give him legs. So what we're going to do is, I have a spare cloth. You should also have that. Just dab and wipe off the yellow color from your hands, from your palm. Okay, keep it aside. And I'm going to take some red color, very, very little red color uh, in my container, all right? And here we go. Why red color? I'm going to take very little red color. We don't need to waste paints, no? We're going to be very, very careful. And like I said, if you don't have red, then you have the kum kum powder. You can totally use kum kum powder, okay? So now I'm going to mix the red color. I just mix the red color, okay? And on the tip, on the tip of my brush, remove the extra little bit that you have and I'm going to now tilt my screen again for you to see 
I'm going to make a beak. I'm going to make a beak, a small little beak. And of course an eye, ding! And two legs. Because that's what, and it has to be like a paddle. Yes. And I've made his two legs. How many legs does a duck have? How many? See? My duck is ready. I'm going to turn it around. So I've made a beak with red color and eyes and legs. Now they might look like orange to you, but it's actually not orange color. I've used red color. Okay. If you don't have red color, you can use orange color. And that's my duck. My hand print Mr. Duck is ready. Oh wow, Abana. This is amazing. Okay, Mr. Duck. I think he's really liked himself. Do you like yourself, Mr. Duck? Did you like what we did? Yes. And little ones, all you little babies, you don't forget to make me, okay? Yes. They're going to make you, don't worry. Okay, and then they're going to send you some pictures as well. Oh, yes, yes, please, please don't forget to send your pictures. I mean, my pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, Doc. Oh, my God, he talks so much. Why don't you just sit down and just listen to what we are saying, okay? So, yes, I hope you really, really liked this palm printing activity. I had loads of fun with you. I hope you enjoyed the story. Good night already. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is Mindseed Preschool on YouTube. Definitely follow us on Instagram and don't forget to log into our website, which is www.mindseed.in. And don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section right down here. I'll be waiting and trust me, I'll be reading each and every comment that you have written. I had loads of fun. I'm going to see you again next week 5 30 same time same day till then stay safe stay healthy don't forget to wear your mask mamas papas now that you're moving out gloves mask and yes i'm gonna go and wash these hands so, all right so bye see you guys take care thank you